Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Python. Welcome to Ark Aberration, my friends. We are on the brand new Pooping Evolved server, guys, and I am super freaking hyped. Sadly, I was among the last to get on the server because my download failed a couple of times, which is fantastic. So thank you very much, Steam, for being as reliable a service as ever. But uh, anyways, all the roasting aside, I'm super excited to get this thing underway, my friends. A brand new major expansion pack for Ark Survival Evolved. Now, straight off the rip, I'm going to go and clarify that this is absolutely not replacing my single-player island series. So please don't worry about that, my friends. But as always, if you guys are excited for the series, a like rating would be super appreciated if you're new around here subscribe so you don't miss out on future content my friends and uh, yeah let's get on with this thing as you can see i am a beautiful man with tiny thin stumpy legs and a tiny little pinhead on what appears to be like a big bulky boulder body i look fantastic do i not <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness me. But as you guys know, Pooping Evolved, we have a whole bunch of stuff buffed on here, whether it be the amount of XP we get for doing certain things. Uh, in my case, I've got four level ups to go ahead and apply. So here we go. Let's go for health. We'll go for stamina. We'll go for carry weight twice as well. There we go. All right, guys. So the only mod we have on Pooping Evolved so far on the Aberration server is S+, plus or Structures+. Plus. So as you can see, there's a bunch of stuff going on, my friends. So, uh, I mean, we've got 360 engram points. Oh, my word. Well, pff, let's, let's just unlock every freaking thing. There's no reason not to, is there? Is there, like, a quick way of doing this? I, I don't actually know, but... We're just gonna, we're just gonna do literally everything, because we can. This is brilliant. Okay, I could, oh, hello. Yep, 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 learn all the things, my friends, learn all the things. S plus storage boxes, hide, hide freaking things. We got all of this crap as well, man, oh my goodness me. Yep, episode one, and we are just spamming our chat with a bunch of stuff. Alright, so, guys. Let's get ourselves underway, shall we? So, I mean, I'm not entirely sure what to expect here. Okay. Got ourselves a bunch of berries. I guess that is okay. Uh, what I would like to... Oh, hello. Hi. Yeah, there's a bunch of people on right now, my friends, which is really, really awesome. In fact, is there like a way of me seeing? Uh, I can't remember. I can't remember. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that is everybody that's on. We've got King Daddy d -Mag. We've got Zul'jin. Slip Getters on. XP is on. All the peeps. All the pooping involved peeps. We're all as hyped as each other, to be honest, for this big-ass patch. So, uh, let's maybe head up here. I imagine this is just a box-standard tree, right? Should we be able to punch this? Uh, maybe not. Okay. Right. We've got mushrooms. We've got mushrooms. We've got fiber. Wow, that's a lot of different types of mushroom. Uh, that's kind of cool, I guess. Right, so... How does one get normal wood? Because I, I'm i not getting normal wood here. What about this? Do I, like, punch this here? Mushroom, dried mushroom-looking tree? Let's do this thing. So one thing I'm going to go ahead... Oh, there we go. Got a bunch of thatch. Fungal wood. Okay, cool. Yeah, one thing I will let you guys know is the fact that, uh, yes, I am still an ARC noob. Or, well, most people could probably consider me an ARC noob still. So, please do forgive me in the series if I do newbie things. In my island series, which, by the way, is the first ever ARC Survival Evolved series I've ever done. I'm only up to the point where I've tamed an Allosaurus, alright? So, there's still a lot of things I need to learn about ARC Vanilla. Uh, let alone, you know, all of this stuff as well. So... Let's bring up the old crafting. Let's get ourselves a pickaxe, my friends, and then we can start getting some cool things. Wow, we can already... Allows you to change the light settings of multi-lamps from a distance. So it's not actually a gun. Wait, what? Demo gun. Fire to pick up or demolish items. We've got ourselves visibility tools. Uh, huh, plenty of things. Oh, huh! Okay. Um, hi. Hi. Is someone trying to tame you? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and guess that someone's trying to tame you there, buddy. Right! So, we have such a bunch of crap on us already, my friends. We need to get rid of all of this stuff. Uh, drop. Oh, yep. Please go. I don't want all of these freaking skin things, man. I wish that they were put in, like, a different folder. I know they don't take up any carry weight, but they take up, you know, inventory space, I guess. It makes things a little bit harder to see. Alright, so, here we go. Uh, should we try and get ourselves a little bit of stone? Yeah, a little bit of flint. Fantastic. So I will clarify as well. I'm actually uploading as I speak right now. Uh, I'm encumbered already. I'm actually uploading as I speak, which is why you may notice that I'm lagging just a little bit. Let's get ourselves a hatchet. Uh, let's get ourselves some various other bits and bobs. We need some hide as well. Uh, yeah, okay. 
Okay, cool. And we have a Fiomia saddle already. Fantastic, man. All right, we're not doing bad, are we? All right, let's make ourselves some rudimentary armor. Why not? What does that require? We need a little bit more fiber. Okay, that's totally fine and dandy. There's another level up, guys. Let's get it. All right, a little bit more of that. How about a little bit more? Is there another level up? Nah. All right, boom. Boom, and a little bit of that. Fantastic. All right, guys. So... Oh my goodness me. Is that a raptor? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's after me. It's after me. I can't do anything. My inventory is blooming clogged up. I can't do anything. Like, no. Oh, an aberrant raptor level 65. 65. Oh my goodness me. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is going to be a recurring theme. Hey, at least my stuff is only there, right? This is going to be a recurring theme, okay? Like, there's probably going to be a lot of deaths involved in these first few episodes while I uh, try to get to grips. Oh, for goodness sake, really? And it gives me all of the freaking skin, crappy skin things back, which I once again need to dispose of. Ugh. I wish you could, like... What? Eh, yeah, a little bit of wood. What the heck? Okay, I'll take the wood any day, boys. <laughs> What? Where's the... What is this? We got crystal? We got green gems? What the crap is going on? Oh no, there's the raptor again! No, 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 no! Hallucinating! What the crap? What the crap? What the crap? Where's my mushrooms? I've got to get rid of them. Uh, so apparently even just carrying the mushrooms will mean that you get absolutely schmung dingled. All right, uh, mushroom, get the hell out of it. What the crap just happened, man? <laughs> what? Please help me. Help me. Help me. Don't. Please don't leave me. Don't leave me behind there, buddy. Oh, jeez, man. What the crap is going on? I need to get rid of a bunch more stuff. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, I am sorry. I just said, oh, my goodness me, like three times in a row. Unbelievable. Right, boom. Boom. Right, what else can we do, if anything? Not entirely sure. What about, let's have a look uh, at this thing here. Pestle and mortar, spark powder. Yeah, all, all the pretty standard stuffs. Okay, fantastic. The, uh, the question is, where do we go if we want to make ourselves a base? I mean, this is a brand new map, right? So no one really knows where all of the stuff... Oh, where all of the safe places are. So, I mean, I don't know. Anywhere that's sort of secluded away would be a good idea, I guess. I mean, there is water there, I guess. That's always a good thing. Right, I just need to try and take inventory of what exactly is around it. We've got crystal there. we got... What the heck is this? Is this emerald? Oh my goodness me! I just got two shotted, bro! You see, my... Oh, hello. My objectives is to try and uh, get myself just a tiny little base going, but uh, clearly Ark Survival Evolved has other ideas, huh? Damn it, where the hell have I spawned, bro? Oh, my stuff's over there. Okay, fantastic. All right, so we've got Triceratops around here. I guess that's an okay thing. Uh, Dark Fan is over there. Good day to you, sir. Uh, I hope I hope you're okay there, brother. Wait, what the hell is he? He's got, like, a glowing effect. What? This guy looks amazing. What the hell? I'm so jealous. I really want that now. <laughs> what? Oh, my goodness me. All right, come on, then. Let's get our stuff back again. And we'll try and make an actual start on things, okay? I want to get some fiber, I want to get some bits- Oh my goodness me! Okay. Oh, that's most of my health just gone. Okay. Um, hi. Hi. Are you a Ravager? I'm going to guess that that guy is a Ravager. In fact, no, I'm pretty damn convinced he is a Ravager. So can I, like, get up here? Uh-oh. Oh, no. I'm, like, cornered in. I don't think I'll be able to get out of here without dying again, bro. I'm not entirely sure about this. What's going on here? S plus thatch foundation. Okay, I mean, I could build a base here if I really wanted to, but I feel like I'm just going to get absolutely destroyed, bro. Oh, these guys are pack animals, huh? I don't like this area, man. I want to be able to get out without getting killed. All right, here we go. Here we go, guys. I'm making a run for it. I'm making a run for it, boys. I'm making a run for it. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right. Uh, hi. You're not going to kill me? Wait. 
Please don't- No, actually, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Not now. Not now. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't want to die, man. I don't want to die. I want to stay alive. I want to build bases. I want to do well for myself. I feel like going down there might be a nice idea or well, something like that. I'm not entirely sure just yet. What are these guys? There's like little fireflies around the place. Good day to you. Good day to you. What are you? I must have a look. Good day. Oh, I'm tired. Dang it, man. I want to be able to see what this guy is. Hello. A Glowbug level 1. Charge 500. Huh, these guys have a charge. Cool. Right. Where should we set up? I have no idea. Maybe what I do is a quick recon of the area. See what I can find. See if there's any decent place to, set, to settle down. Hopefully not die about 3,000 times in the process. And then uh, I bring you guys back once we've got some materials. And we're ready to make our first thatch base. Hey, how does that sound? I think that sounds pretty good, so let's get to it. Aha, check it out, folks. So these guys have got the right idea. Lapis, Laurie, and uh, XP have decided to set up a base. Oh, this has got a, like a ton of beds in here as well. That's awesome. Hey, good job. Good job. Thank you. Thank you for your service. That is actually amazing. There's Slip right there. Uh, yeah, we just need to try and figure out what kind of place we want to be setting up in. Let me have a look at the map real quick so we can see where we are. So in the sort of northeastern, uh, northwestern, sorry, northwestern area. Uh, hmm. I mean, there doesn't appear to be that many hostile enemies around here. So maybe all we do... Oh, man. I feel like it would be a good idea to set up our first base next to the water, right? In fact, I'm thinking down here. Like, if I just sort of follow along the shore, I feel like we might be better off for doing so, right? I mean, there's quite a big choke point here. Unless all of the enemies wind up dropping down from over there, which I highly doubt they do because they'd probably die. Uh, I feel like this place right here would be a good idea. Yeah, look at this. It's like a little sort of cove kind of deal, isn't it? I'm down with this. This seems like a pretty legitimate place to set up. So do you know what? That's exactly what we're going to go and do. So we want to the S plus. So S plus, boom. Right, there's probably a much easier way of uh, searching all that kind of stuff. Uh, right, so what are we needing? Uh, we need more wood and we need more... Well, actually, it's pretty much just wood, isn't it? Uh, huh. Right. Okay. And all the trees are over there. Don't! Oh! All right. Oh, well, no, actually, no, there's some trees here. I retract that doll, and I will go ahead and chop down the tree. Let's get it. Alrighty, folks. So here we are back in action. I was mostly looking for wood because it seems to be in a bit of a... It seems to be a bit scarce on this map so far. Maybe it's just where we've spawned. I'm not entirely sure. But it turns out that those sort of dried mushroom trees give you, like, fungal wood. And that actually functions the exact same as regular wood, right? So you can actually use it to make thatch foundations. So as you can see, got six of them, which is amazing. The other way I discovered you can get wood is apparently there's these sort of earthquakes or tremors that go on. And they sort Sort of, kind of, make a whole bunch of resources just pop out of the ground completely randomly. So, you know, that's kind of awesome. I mean, I'm completely down with that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, right, I do kind of want to get rid of that just so I'm able to sprint again. And so I can get over here and uh, make a bit of a start on the base because I think this would be a pretty awesome idea. So... Yeah, we're gonna have ourselves a 3x2 base made out of thatch. I think it would be a good start at the very least. And I think it will do us to get us, like, tables, pestles and mortars, some basic crafting stations. Maybe even if someone is on their travels and they come across it, then boom, they've got themselves a sleeping place. So, yeah. Alrighty, guys, but this is the place we're going to go and set up. So, let's go ahead and uh, let's, let's just make a start, eh? So, let's put you over there. Yep, S plus thatch foundation. Bada bing, bada boom. Can we make another one there? Yes, we can. Okay, so like I say, a 3x2 is what I'm looking for. Uh, there we go. Oh, crap. Oh, wait, no, actually. <laughs> Crisis averted, I thought I placed it incorrectly. I would have been a little bit annoyed. But anyways, doesn't matter. We got ourselves... There we go. Bit of a platform going. Fantastic. Right, so what else can we make? Let's have a look. So we got ourselves a bunch of walls. Uh, I've been seeing a bunch of reports in the in the Pooping Evolved Discord that apparently the S plus walls are messing up. So I think what I may do instead is just go ahead and make some, you know, some regular ones. We'll go for regular ones for now. And then uh, we can upgrade uh, later down the line. You know, there's no reason why we can't. So... Yeah, we'll just go for the regular stuffs for now because they don't crash the game. And yeah, everything should be good. So let's begin with the door. I think we'll put the door here because, you know, it's kind of level with the uh, with the terrain. So there we go. Let's have you there. Let's have ourselves the thatch door. Yay, I'm inside my home. It has no walls. 
<laughs> this is fantastic. All right, here we go, boys. And then seven of these. Those are the regular ones. Okay, fantastic. Right, we should get ourselves a ton of XP from this and therefore, hopefully, rank ourselves up a whole bunch of times. Hell yeah, my friends. Right, so, I mean, we don't really have to wait, so let's go ahead and uh, begin making the thing. So, there we go. How about another one? Uh, so, we need, technically speaking, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, yeah, six. We need six. Okay. There's one. Let's get ourselves another one, guys. All right. Four more. Okie doke. We're not doing bad, eh? We're not doing bad for our first day. Yes, we have died. But you know what? It's not the end of the world, is it, guys? It isn't the end of the world. I'm actually kind of tempted... Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I was tempted to go for crafting skill, but actually that's probably not a good idea. I might go for fortitude, because one thing I have discovered with this map is you tend to lose your thirst extremely very quick. Now, that's one of the reasons, of course, I set up beside the, you know, this massive-ass lake here. Because, you know, you can just get water on the fly, right? Makes sense, doesn't it? So, yeah. Anyways, uh, I'm randomly picking up stones. I don't actually mean to. But, uh, yeah. Alright, so if we go back over here, yay! Some more trees have respawned. Apparently, the respawn rate for resources is very much buffed on this server. And I've got to say, I very much appreciate that. I really, really do. Because it is needed, my friends. It is needed. Especially considering, watch this, how little wood you get from this using an axe. Look at this. 6, 8... 11, 14, 17 from one tree. Now, if that was regular wood, that would be probably in the hundreds, 150s, upwards. I don't know, man. I feel like the uh, fungal wood is very, very low in terms of, you know, gain rate, I guess. Right, uh, we need ourselves another couple walls. So, wow, we can make 18 of them. Let's get a bunch of that. We'll get ourselves a storage chest as well. Uh, is there anything else we could do with? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, a bunch of, uh, a bunch of ceilings. There we go. Okay, uh, we're actually going to need a little bit more wood as well. But in the meantime, I guess we could just start placing more of our base down. Okay, no. And now we just wait. It's an S plus storage box. I really hope that that doesn't break the game. Because apparently it was the S plus walls that were breaking the game before. So yeah, there we go. Another level up. Fantastic. Right, let's go for weight this time. There we go, up to 150. And what have we got? We got ourselves crop plots, bows, carbon, nemesis, saddle. We got the glow stick. This was in the this was in the trailer. So yeah, green gem and two crystal. That's actually very very easy. I can actually do that. Brilliant. <laughs> okay. Right. Let's set it back over here and let's continue on with our base work. And yeah, everything will be everything will be fantastic, guys. I'm having a lot of fun with this so far. I do hope you guys are enjoying this too. I know that maybe like other members of the server go at a much quicker rate than I do, but uh, like I say, you know, I, I, I'm not like an arc expert. I absolutely do not claim to be any kind of arc expert because I'm just not. I'm just not. So yeah, I do hope you guys are enjoying it nonetheless, though. So, anyways, let's get ourselves a storage box here. Uh, let's get you chopped down. Uh, yeah, seems legit. Cool. Uh, okay, cool. So this doesn't break the game. Good to know. Good to know. Right. So let's go and put a bunch of stuff in here. We've even got obsidian. That was one of the resources that popped out of the ground when the tremors were going on. So, you know, that's kind of cool. Uh, yeah. We just pretty much need ourselves a bit more wood. And then we have ourselves this entire thing done. We got ourselves our first base going. And yeah, that'll be pretty awesome. Right. So for ceilings, we need ourselves thatch. Fiber, wood, we've got the fiber, we've got the thatch, we just need some wood. So let's get it, my friends. Alrighty, folks, and here we go. We've got the last remaining bits right here. So let's go ahead and get this now two-story starter house underway. Hey, quite an upgrade from the first ever house I made on my uh, single-player series, isn't it, guys? Eh? Huh? Eh? I think it's pretty cool anyway. There is a little bit of a stipulation in that you have to crouch if you want to get up to this level, but, you know, it's better than not having two floors. I mean, I could always have just a one-floor crummy home, you know what I'm saying? But I decided, hey, man, why don't we just go ahead and go all out, eh? Why don't we just go all out and go for a two-story place? And that's what I've done! So, eh! Not bad, eh? Not bad. So, uh, let's go ahead and place this storage bot. Oh, what? Yo! Is this part of S+, Plus? you could put storage boxes on top of each other? That is sick! Oh wait, and these things store more? Ooh! Well, that is definitely interesting to know. Right, uh, berries. So, here's what I want to do. Wait, no, hang on. I want to put iron in a different chest. We'll have building materials in one chest. We'll have berries and whatnots in another chest. Uh, yeah, let's just put all that stuff away. Why do I even have this extra implant? I don't need it. But, guys, for the sake of the old days, I kind of want to find myself a dodo and tame it. <laughs> hey? 
Well, I mean, why the heck not, right? All we're going to do is find one and tame it before a raptor kills it, I guess. Because, uh, yeah, there seems to be a decent amount of raptors around this place. I found a, I found, I did find a dodo on my wood hunting travels. I found a dodo, like, up this hill over here. But it got killed by a raptor. So, you know, sad days, sad days. Oh, hello. Right. But anyways, uh, I mean, it's not to say we won't be able to find another dodo. So, yeah. All right. Guys, let's find a dodo. Let's go and knock it out. Give it some hits, tame it, bring it back to our base and call it out. Alrighty guys, level 30 dodo, he just did a poop. How disrespectful. Here, get bashed in the head. Go on, get KO'd, get KO'd. Shouldn't be that difficult, right? Buddy, can you like, actually like, get KO'd and stuff? Ha, boom. Ha, that did it. Ha, fantastic. Right, so here we go. Let's give you some Mijo berries and that's literally all you need, right? Just, just like a berry or two, and then we got ourselves a dodo. <laughs> oh, man, the old days are the good days. Uh, Python's first dodo. That, that's such a bad name. Dodo the first. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's put my name like that so people know it's mine. Dodo the first. Level 38, 61 health. That is amazing. 54 carry weight, 286%. Oh, I don't even know why I'm going through the stats. There's not even any point. Let's just be frank here, guys. Hey, come on, Dodo the first. You're coming back to base, and you're going to have a rocking good time, my friend. Come on. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> oh, brilliant. All right, let's get this guy back to base, huh? Why does this dodo look so disproportionately large compared to me? Hang on, hang on a minute. Let me just put this guy down. All right, he is actually quite large. What the hell? <laughs> what the heck? Oh, this guy's hilarious. It's like I shouldn't even be able to carry this guy. But uh, apparently some, uh, some strings were pulled and uh, yeah, I, I can apparently carry this guy. <laughs> what the hell, man? Oh dear, oh dear. Hey, how about a little, how about a little screeny, eh? How about a little screeny? Yeah, that's us, my friends. First episode, got a two-story thatch base going and a little dodo friend. Heck yeah, buddy. Right, hopefully this guy doesn't get absolutely destroyed because otherwise I'm going to be a little bit heartbroken. Uh, right, there you go. Boom! And stay there, buddy. Fantastic. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so next episode, we're going to work a little bit more on the base, get some more crafting stations going. But in the meantime, I feel like things are looking up for us. I really, really do. Uh, that is that is poo. Don't die the first. No. No. No, you, st you stop that pooping. I wish I could throw it back at him. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> oh dear. But ladies and gentlemen, I think on that note, it is going to be time to end our very first episode of Ark Aberration right there. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is by far the best way of supporting the channel. If you enjoyed the video, uh, hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future content. And for those of you guys who are new around here and are decided to stay along, then uh, I welcome you to the channel. A very warm welcome. Hope you enjoy your stay. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. Look forward to making some more episodes for you very, very shortly and yeah i'll see you guys later